Crew Chief 36 here, and in this Microsoft Flight Sim video, I fly the new CH-47D from Miltech Simulations, giving my opinion on it and showcasing some of its capabilities, including sling loading a UH-60 Blackhawk, all from my point of view in my sim rig with 50 inch triples. Alright, let's get this uh, Chinook started up here. So first thing, uh, we'll go and uh, turn the battery on. Then we'll go and uh, take our uh, APU to start. Should hear it kick on. Yep. Go and uh, turn our APU generator switch to on. And we'll do our uh, hydraulic transfer switches. Both of those are going on. Our parking brake is set. And FADIC backup power is on. And now uh, we'll turn all EAPS fan switch. Both of those guys are on. That's all these switches up here. On, on, and then open them doors. And then we'll turn our all our left fuel pumps on. And our cross feed switch on. And then we'll go into uh go ground in our engine number one lever and we'll take our engine start switch and go to number one start to see everything starts pulling up Good old pressure there, so we'll go and take that to flight. And we'll turn our generator switch to, uh, on for our number one. Uh, now we're going to turn all our right pumps on. We're going to take our right engine, engine number two, to ground. And then we'll take our engine start switch over to start number two. And you can start seeing everything spool up on the right engine. Oil pressure's coming up. Uh, we've got to turn all our uh, collision lights on. We'll go and get these guys on here. Now we'll take our uh, engine number two up to flight. Alright, everything's stabilizing out there. Now we'll go and take our APU. Well, first uh, turn our generator two on and then uh, APU off. Our APU generator switch off. We should be all good to go here. Alright. Uh, now this is our EFB tablet over here. This is where you can uh, load different uh, things inside the uh, back there. And then you have your door, so we can go and uh, say open our back ramp here. And uh, so you can load things internally. So say you can put like a Hummer in there. You can uh, do some troops. Um, Right now, we're going to try uh, external load, so we'll try to do a sling load here. So whenever you click one of these, it's going to spawn to our left, so we're going to go and uh, spawn the UH-60. It should spawn to our 9 o'clock. Yep, there it is right there. And then uh, right here, so you get a little flashing hook middle. So different types of loads, you have to set your uh, hook to a different uh, setting. So right here, you have a hook right here, so we're going to rotate that down to mid right here. And then uh, that flashing red, uh, basically ICOD is going to go away there. And um, this little red dot is what we're trying to pick up. And you have to put the red dot inside this green circle here for about five seconds, and it'll uh, pick up the load. Make sure our door is closed and everything. Go back to our load page so we have this up. 
So the helicopter or taxi is pretty good. Uh, you could your steering control here. It's a uh, locked right now, so we can uh, put that to swivel. We can do a little bit of a ground taxi here. Uh, parking brake is off. And uh, so the taxi, this thing, you just got to add a little bit of collective and push forward. And we're rolling. And just use the rudder pedals. Let's go and take off right here. Add a little bit more collective, and she's in the air. This thing is very stable. Pretty easy to fly. Not a very uh, hard fly model. Nothing like flying the Apache and the DCS or nothing like that. But a uh, very good flight model nonetheless, as you'd expect from Miltek simulations. Bunch of left rudder spinning around here. There's our uh, cargo over there to the UH-60. Try to go and uh, swing around, line up, and pick it up. Alright, so the goal here is to try to hover over it for about five seconds. A little low, add a little bit of power. Kind of creep it in here. Always got to use small movements with the helicopter. Otherwise it'll start getting out of whack. Uh, starting to see the helicopter go down there. Alright. Alright, we're almost there. You can see the red dot coming up. Almost there, almost there. Alright, uh, there we go. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're hooked. Oop. You can immediately feel the weight. Add some collective there. So whenever you're uh, sling loading or doing anything like this, you want to make sure you don't do any uh, crazy aggressive maneuvers because the uh, the cables, um, they say they will break. I have not tested that out, but in the uh, manual it says if you do any high G maneuvers or anything like that, it will go and uh, release the cargo. Cruise around here about 100 knots. So this is one of the uh, handcrafted airports that come with the uh, Shaduk here in uh, Africa. It's modeled pretty good. Bunch of details, barracks, got an A-10, some UAVs, other helicopter. It also comes with uh, about five other uh, bases, uh, RAF in the UK, um, there's a base in Alaska, um, this one is Chabale Airfield, uh, it's on the Horn of Africa, um, there's a Camp Resilience, that's a fictional military out outpost in Jordan, and uh, Al-Sahara base in Kuwait. 
It also comes with uh, multiple missions, such as like uh, firefighting missions, we can drop buckets of water on stuff, uh, hoist missions, rescue missions, and some uh, military exercise missions. We'll be uh, showcasing some of those videos in the future. Alright. See if we can uh, drop this cargo off this right here. So it should uh, auto drop the package once you're within like uh, 50 feet of the ground. And it, it does it pretty well. We're bringing it in nice and easy. Try to set her down right here. And released. Seems also pretty fast. Go and give her full power. Really accelerates quickly. I'm not sure uh, how realistic that is. I've never, uh, you know, I was in the Air Force, not the Army. Never been around a Chinook or anything like that. But I do know they're very powerful. Uh, let's try to do a really high-speed turn right here. Full left rudder. Oh yeah, it's pretty agile. Zoom down the runway here. <laughs> what are we doing? 120 knots, creeping up to 150 knots. Yeah, she can get moving. <laughs> Man, this thing is actually really fun to fly. Alright. Let's uh, bring her back down over here. See how she lands. Yeah, so uh, first impressions with the uh, CH-47, it's uh, really fun to fly, and uh, you know, the price may be up there, like 35 bucks, but I did pay for it with my own money, and uh, it, it does offer a lot, though, from a you know, great-looking model with 13 liveries, uh, multiple different types of cargo loads, uh, pretty good sound design, uh, like five handcrafted airports, and a bunch of missions, so it, you know, it does offer more than most products in this price range. Stabilizer out right here. Bring her down. And there she is.
Alright, so uh, I hope you enjoyed watching me fly the uh, CH-47D Chinook in uh, Microsoft Flight Sim. So like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, come be my virtual wingman. Later.